Hello YouTube. So I'm really happy to be here, and as you can see behind me is mountain. I am above the sky. You can see a lot of cloud going behind me. A big forest, and yeah, the air is just beautiful. And I think this is what we are missing at a trader. At least that's for me because I love living life. I love just being where I can find myself, being where I can feel grounded, being where I can recharge. Yeah, and every time my videos went viral, I usually take some day off because that is how I cool down myself. You know, when you went viral, you have more follower, you have more subscriber. But for me, it didn't make me better. It didn't make me better than you. It didn't matter. It didn't make me. It actually can make me feel better about myself, and that's where disaster come. And that's the reason why I I ran away to here. And there are more opportunity. There are podcast. There are advertisement. There are broker, broker, all kind of stuff. All kind of. Opportunity unfolding my way, but like I tell you, I'm not doing YouTube to like monetize all the audience to be, yeah, to make some money. Because at the end of the day, I'm I'm doing YouTube because I realize the values, the way I talk, it's not only to you but to myself. And every time I do this. Every time I gather enough energy to talk to you like this, it it actually like me talking to myself as well at the same time. And when I talk to myself, the more genuine, the more honest, the more humble, the more like goodness, kindness, compassion I show to myself, the better and the more values I gonna re receive. And this is what the channel is all about. So welcome to the channel. So this video is gonna be a very unusual video because most people they don't care about this. They, they care about the P and L. And this this video is gonna be a Q and A. So there are some questions that people ask, and hopefully I can answer. Maybe not correctly, but yeah, it's just my experiences, and and hopefully it can bring you some values. As always, so the first question is: Do I ever quit? Like, to be honest, I, I think more than once, more than twice, there are a lot of time where I actually just want to quit trading. And. I'm not going to tell you like never quit. I'm not going to tell you like never give up, trade your dream, and be the person you want to be, kind of stuff. But because in trading, is fucking different. Because in all the career, when you spend more time, you keep, when you keep grinding, when when you keep fighting, when you keep studying, well, maybe someday you're gonna make it. But in trading. Let me say this loud and clear. My life will be a lot better and easier without trading. So I hope that this can actually make you think, right? Because if you are new and you're not losing a lot of money, maybe this is not for you. Because trading is is very simple to. To master, I mean about click buy, click sell, where to build your stop loss, where you build your take profit, how to navigate around MT4, C Trader, MT5. Everything seems to be simple and 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 easy, right? But <laughs> that's how we think that it's gonna be easy to make money as well, especially when our first few trade was. Winning, and we think that's it. We're gonna make it, but I am here, thirteen years later, maybe fourteen years now, and 
the longer you in this game and the more money you lost it makes it even harder to show up because there are more than once in my entire life I feel like maybe trading is just an uh, addition where I am a gambler maybe trading is just not for me and maybe I'm not smart enough and sometimes I thought I have bipolar and all kind of stuff and I trade all other people's money I trade my money like money I trade six, six fingers I trade seven fingers I I, ha I have been through black swan e events like earthquakes switch from crashes and yeah a lot of stuff so yeah when you think you get it in trading market is gonna have some new shit un unfolding your way and if you think you master something that's when you're gonna lose the shit out of you mark when we are not humble market is, is gonna humble us you see how crypto got invented it's just another way to suck our earth in and yeah I, I got into crypto too there there was a video about it <laughs> and it's not really a happy experience so I have a, all the reason to quit and I try I try to hurt myself too and that's the reason why I, I am not going to tell you like don't quit but I'm going to tell you to re-evaluate the journey how much you want it and the reason that I stay until now first for now I have a YouTube and it's where I can talk to myself and express my deepest gratitude the second thing is trading is allow me to learn more about the human mind and that's where I find fascinating you know there's some people there's some traders they are very good at number so for them maybe psychology my psychology stuff may, may not be a big thing but for me that's where I feel fascinating and that's where I stay because I want to grow not only as a trader but a human being as well so that's my why how about you what are your why why are you here in this <laughs> toxic industry it's not easy my friend and I'm not here to tell you like you're gonna make it because from what I have seen in a decade it's, it's like one in million I saw people got famous I saw people make a lot of money as, and then they just disappear trading is where you have a lot of freedom in this world because in this world you have a, a lot of boundaries right in this physical world but in trading it allows you to have a tremendous of freedom and including the freedom to fuck yourself up and include the freedom to just trade whenever you want over trading even when you are sleepy and you you didn't sleep enough or you are you are having a fight with your spouse your wife whatever and that's how difficult it is some of us we are not ready to be free let's be honest All right so I hope throughout my share you actually can think and evaluate your situation whether you should continue or whether you should quit because there are no right or wrong here this is very personal thing and if you want a commercial answer then it's gonna be something like don't quit the day where you shine will be here just keep grinding day after day work hard work your ass up and someday market is gonna pay you up no market didn't give a fuck <laughs> So that's it. That is the first question. Let's see what is the next one. The second question is: Do I take 
irrational random traits. I think this is one of the things that make us feel lonely in our journeys because sometimes I have a beautiful plan. My buyers, fundamental outlook, technically how product gonna unfold. Yeah, just beautiful revelation. But when I enter the market, it's just before I know it, I already click some trades. So here's the thing. For me as an impulsive trader, everything I see in the market, money, 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 money. <laughs> so usually before I even think, my 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 hand is already click some shit. And that's where I kill so many of my account. Because the more trade you took, the more money you're gonna lose. And the more money we, we're gonna lose, the more impulsive I'm gonna be. And I just keep trading and trading and trading. So when we over trading with impulsiveness equal losing our account. Just simple as that. So for, for, for some people, they're actually not impulsive, but they are hesitant. So they don't have a courage to pull the trigger. Even they are well prepared, they are well educated, they have a statistical edge in their backtesting. So they every because they are every movement in the market is like loss, 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 loss. So every time they, they, they want to be in the market, every opportunity, it seems to be not really a, an opportunity to make money, but an opportunity to lose money. That's why. That's why it's, <laughs> that's why it's so hard for us to actually not take in random trade. So for me personally, what I feel like a way for me is accepting. So when I accept that random trade, irrational trade, they are part of myself. They are part of my journey. And I calculate them into my equation as well. So let's say now in one month, let's say I take 50 trades, or let's say in two months, I, I take 100 trades, and 30, 40 of them are random trades. But I, if I still manage to be profitable, then imagine in the future when I can manage myself to cut, to eliminate from 40 random trade to 20 random trade, then obviously my statistical edge is going to be improving, right? So that's where I not really taking things so personally because every time we take random trade and we lose. And then the trade unfolding exactly in our plan, we feel like shit. And when we feel like shit, we trade like shit. And every day, more shit coming. <laughs> so it's just ba basically, it's just a normal thing. But because on social media, everyone seems to be have a perfect entry. That's the reason why I felt lonely on the journey itself. itself but Eventually, I learned that no, not really. Everyone have a stupid entries, just as I do, and that's where I take my voice, my power, my face back, and I feel more confident in my execution. And slowly, I believe that my impulsive going to be, yeah, more balanced and more control. So yeah, that's what it is. So I think that. We, we, we are here for something. I think trader, when we come to this market, we, we are sick for something. For many of us, it's the freedom to be who we are, to live the life we want in our term. For me personally, I want the freedom to speak up. Why this channel? Just, just like this channel, I want to speak up. I don't want to like, when I when I want to say something, but but I am not allowing to. I want to say something, then I say it. That's the freedom that I want, and that is how I want to live this life. Not only like free, but it's more like free to be myself, and that's what matter. And during the time when I seek 
freedom in my trading that's where I realize that I build up somehow subconsciously I build up a pre a, a mental prison for myself and every day it's just all about trading and all about losing and I never went out like that I'm lucky to have uh, some friends some people and they are genuinely care and love and yeah they draw me here and somehow I'm living a life where I feel pretty happy and yeah so next thing I want to tell you is that throughout my documentation I hope that you will read the comment because they are 100% human being and they are real trader and they all share the similarities in my emotion and maybe that is your emotion as well formal over trading over risking revenge trading yeah we all I think it's so powerful when you know that you are not alone because when you are not you feel you are normal you have all the power to work on yourself but when you feel because when you when we feel like we are along with the kind of emotion I think for me I feel like I have a bipolar I feel like I have some kind of mental disease I have some problem with my emotion all kind of stuff but when I know that we even our journey is unique our circumstance is unique but the emotion we are share we all we are feeling the car motion at some point in our journey and they're perfectly normal so if you are seeing this I hope that you know for a fact that you are not alone we are not alone so be strong minded what you are seeing on the chart maybe that's something you can trade you don't need to be following my strategy you don't need to follow any body strategy to be honest one other thing I want to share is mentor influences and yeah just famous thing shining things so one of the experiences I believe that most people don't have is I have a study a lot of mentors some sucks some good but in my video you never see me men mention any like I never talk shit to any of my mentor because I feel like even they are bad even a scammer you even when you got scammed that basically a lesson a life lesson so I'm basically grateful for every lesson in life and I believe that you should not be falling in love with anyone on the social media including myself because when we study when we fall in love with a concept with a system with someone and when we admire that person so hard that we fight their battle we try to like when you see someone talking shit about them you try to pro protect them I think that's a good thing but too much of a good thing maybe uh, maybe that's a bad thing and it's not the first time I I <laughs> I stand up for, for someone but I think in this trading industry where everything is very competitive and everything is very aggressive I think it's very non-healthy it's not healthy for us to actually get into the kind of trap tra stuff because trading is difficult enough market fucked you every single day and you still try to find some bodies someone else battle I think that's not ne not really necessary and that's what I'm trying to avoid right now and yeah I'm not taking size I'm not 
I'm not going to be biased or yeah, I just be myself. And I think that's what that's quite important if you want to keep your life balanced, grounded, and peaceful. So the final thing before we end the video, maybe uh, enjoy this view. The last time is um, market can sucks everything out of your life. Maybe that's for me. But when I realize that every of us, at some point in our dream journey, we're gonna feel extremely down. It's extremely was it's not the first time when I feel like I got broken into peace and as it's a calm moment I just want to lie down stop eating and just thinking but there's no way out but somehow I always manage to to stand up and keep moving and now I'm here even even I'm not getting a lot of success but I'm feeling good things I'm feeling process I'm feeling improvement and only me knowing how good I'm doing and only you knowing how good you are doing so what does that mean does that mean time if you are down right now if, if you are in the bottom of your journey give yourself time the universe is very abundant and living and time is one of the universal currencies that if you allow yourself to have a time eventually things will get better you will be healed you will feel better and slowly slowly you're gonna see your path it's not like one day two days but and I, ne I never think that I still keep trading un un until now and once I make it to the top I will tell you so whoever you are and wherever you are in your journey, even you're losing, I hope that you don't rush the process because I did and it didn't turn out to be good. Whatever, now whatever the choice that market give me, I try to make myself pick the conservative path because I am a very aggressive trader very risky trader so even now my conservative path it still can be very risky for some of you but that's how we grow we find what really resonate with us and we allow time for earth to grow you know I'm in the middle of nowhere on the top of a mountain I'm looking at a camera six years ago oh, sorry six months ago when I started this channel I see a camera but right now I see you it feel like I, I am talking to a friend it feel like I'm talking to myself and it feel very emotional and I think it's all getting better from here so hang on when, whenever you are I wish you good luck and good trading thank you again for being around not everyone is gonna see this channel for what it is because the channel is not only about trading the channel itself is a reflection and to remind you that we all have a life to live and to love and be loved. I see you on the next video.